Hmm. Craig the Creek co-creator confirms Fire Absor has been written. Wait a minute. Why is Craig the Creek being cut short? I don't know why fans have feared the worst about this show. But they wrote the final episode of Craig the Creek today. That's 188 episodes in total, not including the movie. Technically, we wrote over 65 episodes, but unfortunately, only 7 of those will not be seen because the order has been cut short. And I will share more uh, about those episodes someday. However, I'm going to miss this very much. The Creek was a giant sandbox and we tried to make room for everyone to play. We collectively child our childhood dreams and adventures into each episode, hoping to inspire kids watching at home or at least make them laugh. The infinite talents of the entire crew and cast made the creek into a living, breathing place, and the characters were rich, fully creative. It felt like we could have explored them forever, and we still had more stories to tell. However, due to the merger, this is the end. There are only five seasons and a movie. A spill of ate nothing, thanks to everyone, has been part of the rise for Ruba over the past six years. Thanks for watching. And now, here are the behind the scenes productions and visuals that Levin shared over the course of my of a seven tweet message. Wait a minute! I don't know what happened to Craig in the Creek. What is this? Why would they cancel a content I like? This is insane content. You've gone bonkers over everything. It's all because that stupid merger has made you gone mad. You've become drunk to the dark side like Darth Vader from Star Wars. And David Zaslav has become a Palpatine wannabe. That no one might have a maniac would do this so. Last year, all these movies got released on HBO Max for no good reason. Such as Godzilla vs Kong, The Suicide Squad, The Country the Devil Made Me Do It, In The Heights, Wonder Woman 1984, Dude, The Matrix Resurrections, Those Who Wish Me Dead, The Little Things, The Many States of Newark, Mortal Kombat, Tom and Jerry, Space Jam New Legacy, King Richard, Judas and the Black Messiah, and, uh, and Malignant. And oh my god, why would you do this to yourself? This is the worst thing Gunner has ever done. They've cancelled Craig the Creek, and they've cancelled Victor and Valentino for no good reason. And from last year, they had to release the Batman, Fantastic Beast, The Secrets of Dumbledore, and Elvis to confuse everyone alongside DC League of Super Pets. This is madness. And ever since the great HBO Max purge happened, my entire life couldn't handle this anymore. I can't take this anymore within this darkest hour. This is ridiculous of you. You've probably made a great mistake. It's what I couldn't handle from. Oh, man. I don't know what was going to happen. But there's something that felt off about the what went wrong about this problem. I have no idea what I was thinking of. But you know what they really said about this whole crazy idea? Oh, I just can't handle cut this stuff anymore. It's quite loathsome, but you know what really grinds me to, to gears? I probably learned my lesson about card network. It's quite confusing that I couldn't understand what was going on with card network. I used to watch this cartoon channel all the time, but now I completely lost the plot about it. I couldn't handle what was going on with Cartoon nowadays. But after this stupid merger happened, it felt like that I had no idea what to do but to think of something else. But I've discovered something bad happened. I just felt completely upset about not being able to discover why I don't want to watch Cartoon anymore. And I just want to give up everything about Cartoon Network. I just felt like I was sad about not being able to do this so. And that's okay. I just discovered I don't know what's happening to, to Cartoon Network. All they do is show you repeats and reruns of Teen Titans Go 24-7. And 
All they did is that they had to cancel loads of cartoons from the past. Cartoons used to be good until Squirrel Boy showed up and they replaced all the cartoons with live action stuff and then Tillard's Ghost showed up and there you go. I don't get this problem. I don't know what is going on with Cartoon Network nowadays. But I just felt like something fell off. Something awkward felt off. I don't get it with Carter nowadays. But what the heck did they do something wrong? I know they did something really, really bad about themselves and it's kind of drunk about why David Zaslav did something really, really bad to himself. He probably wanted to stage a genocide to kill off everything that one of us was planning to do. I felt a bit anxious about what was going on. And I don't get it with Cardio nowadays. It's gone down the drain and they flushed it to jump the shark. And after they cancelled the Batgirl movie, they buried it in a funeral and then all of a sudden I had no idea what I was thinking of. You know what they say? It's not my thing anymore, what I can discover. I just don't understand what is happening with Cartoon Network. They've lost everything to do with it, and after they killed the Lutrins franchise with Space Time New Legacy, thanks to the help of marketing gimmicks, it didn't make sense to put product placement into it. But I don't get it with Cartoon Network nowadays. But what is going to go on and on about this cardiac problem? My problem is simple. My problem is that I have no idea what I was thinking of cardiac. Yeah. I think I have a problem with cardiac. And I just need to think of something else, but. And. I just don't have an idea what to think of it. What should I do to think of Cartoon Network? I don't understand what is going on with Cartoon Network nowadays. I don't get with Cartoon Network nowadays because it's not my cup of tea anymore. I don't get it with the wackiness of Cartoon Network anymore. I discovered why is Cartoon Network gone drunk? It's not my thing anymore. I don't get it with the drunk stupidity. I don't get it with the madness of everything what I saw about cartoons. I don't recognize all their cartoons anymore. It felt like it was gone from the wayside. I just don't understand what was going on with cartoons. It's all but gone. I don't get it with cartoons network. They want to take quantity over quality for like more than 10 years they've done something bad about themselves but I don't get it with the fallout itself it felt like they've drunk themselves too long and I have no idea what I was thinking of but I don't know what is going on with me and the cartoon I used to recognize all their cartoons and now they're gone and that's all I can understand. I just don't get it with cards nowadays. Yeah, I ran out of ideas.